Don't forget to follow us on Instagram where we publish amazing pictures, polls, social experiments and much more about Kurdistan. Also, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Now, before we get into the video, we got a new member section on this channel. Be sure that you support us by becoming a Kurdani member. You will unlock exclusive access to VIP stuff, special emblems and much much more by supporting us with the plan that fits you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Jalal Talabani was born in 1933 in the Kurdish village of Kelkan, located between the cities of Hawlir and Slemani in Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. Talabani would in time involve himself in politics, create his own party and become one of the most influential politicians in Kurdish politics ever. However, the Talabani family was well known since before Jalal. In 1835, Sheikh Riza Talabani was born in the Kurdish city of Kirkuk. He, on the other hand, would become one of Kurdistan's most praised poets of all time. If you want a specific video about Riza, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. As Talabani grew up in the 30s and 40s, he was raised to become an ambitious and responsible man. When he graduated from high school in Kirkuk, Jalal got his nickname Mama Jalal, which means Uncle Jalal. In the late 50s and early 60s, Mama Jalal would involve himself in politics and when a revolution started in 1961 against the Iraqi president Abdul Karim Qasem, Jalal Talabani would become part of the Kurdish struggle for real. Since earlier he was involved in the KDP struggle in Bashur and now Jalal Talabani took control of a smaller group of Peshmergas and could liberate areas in and around Kirkuk and Slemani. The revolution would also spread over to Mawat, Rezan and Karadakh. One year later he liberated Sherbajer from Iraqi forces, a Kurdish village located north of Slemani. In the mid-60s, Talabani took several diplomatic missions representing Kurdistan and the Kurdish people. Around the same time, he left the KDP taking a bunch of high-ranking profiles with himself. This new group of former KDP activists formed their own group of resistance against the Iraqi regime. They caused notable problems for the regime, eventually forcing them into negotiations with Talabani. In these negotiations, several reforms came through for the Kurdish people, one of them being the construction of the very famous Kurdish university in Slemani. Jalal Talabani also met with the love of his life, the daughter of the famous Kurdish writer Ibrahim Ahmed. Her name was Hero and eventually they would become parents to two sons, Qubad and Bafal Talabani. In 1975, the Talabani-led revolution was crushed. Previous support from Iran was cancelled after an agreement between Iraq and Iran called the Alger Agreement. That very same year, Jalal Talabani formed the PUK, Patriotic Union of Kurdistan. Many members in the new party were previous members of the KDP and soon enough the PUK formed their own guerrilla Peshmerga, siding against Iraq. In the upcoming war between Iran and Iraq between 1980 and 1988, PUK stood by Iran's side. Heavy clashes between PUK and Iraq occurred. In 1984, a temporary truce was signed. In the negotiations, Kurds were now allowed to study Kurdish in Bashur. In 1985, all school books were translated from Arabic to Kurdish. However, the truce wouldn't last for long. In March 1986, the Al-Anfal campaign was introduced by Saddam Hussein, a genocidal campaign against the Kurds of Bashur. As a result, at least 200,000 Kurds were killed. Even though the Kurds made good resistance, the Peshmerga forces from both PUK and KDP were seriously damaged by the Anfal campaign. However, after the Gulf War crisis in 1991, a no-fly zone were implemented in Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan which protected the Kurds from Saddam Hussein, at least for a while. The no-fly zone made it possible for the Kurds to form a regional government, KRG, in Bashur. 
In the city of Slemani, Jalal Talabani spoke to the people in 1992 in one of his most famous speeches of all time, addressing the Kurdish city Kirkuk, then at Iraqi control as Kurdish. This speech was Jalal Talabani's first one after Raparin. It was also the first launched live video of the newly formed Kurdish television channel at that time, named Televisioni Geli Kurdistan. KRG was officially formed in 1992. The Kurds of Bashur believed that peace and liberation were close. But in 1994, the Kurdish civil war started, mainly between the KDP forces and the PUK forces. The cause of the war was about the power in the newly formed KRG. Leading the KDP forces, we had Masud Barzani and on the other side, we had the PUK under Jalal Talabani. While KDP was supported by Iraq and Turkey, PUK was supported by Iran and the PKK. The civil war would go on for three years until 1997 and over 5,000 Kurds lost their lives. Among the most infamous battles were the Battle of Hawler, where PUK and Talabani lost control over the Kurdish capital to Barzani and KDP under the backup of Saddam Hussein leading to the direct execution of 700 PUK Peshmergas outside the city. In 1998, a truce was signed between Barzani and Talabani, mainly under the influence of American intervention. They agreed on sharing power, money, and not letting the PKK or Iraqi army to enter the KRG borders. In 2003, the United States attacked Iraq. During the war, PUK was one of the United States' most important allies. Peshmergas of Jalal Talabani took Kirkuk and Mosul early in the war. It is also said that United States were led by the PUK forces as they found Saddam Hussein's hiding in his hole outside Tikrit. After the total fall of Saddam Hussein, a new deal were made between the PUK and the KDP. Jalal Talabani became the first elected president of Iraq and also the first non-Arabic president of the country. As an important member of the Iraqi governing council, Jalal Talabani negotiated the new constitution of Iraq. In the new constitution, the Kurdish rights 
were improved and after the final formation of the Iraqi constitution, Jalal Talabani was re-elected as the president of Iraq. Around the same time, another incident with Jalal Talabani was observed. A Turkish student asked a question to Jalal Talabani during a Q&A at the Columbia University. Let's take a look. President, uh, I'm an international student in the School of Engineering um, from Turkey. So I wonder uh, where you exactly meant in the beginning of your speech with Kurdistan. Pardon? What do you meant exactly uh, in, the speech of, in, in the beginning of the speech as Kurdistan? Kurdistan is a country. I didn't create it. God created it. If you in Turkey denying it, it doesn't mean that it's not existing. This even at the time of Kamal Pasha Atatürk was recognized. It. Go back to the first building of Turkish National Assembly. You will see on the uh, wall the list of Millet Vakili, Kurdistan Millet Vakili. This country is now a part of it in Iraq. This part of Iraq is officially recognized. We have a regional government of Kurdistan, and uh, this regional, we have also a National Assembly of Kurdistan that we are recognizing in Iraq. We don't want to interfere in your own affairs. If you don't want to uh, recognize, it's up to you. But we have Kurdistan as a part of Iraq. Soon, time would catch up with Jalal Talabani in the end. In 2012, he suffered from a stroke and was sent to a hospital in Baghdad. The first reports of his condition were not positive. According to rumors, Talabani was set in a coma. However, after a while, officials said that the health of the president were stabilized. A few days later, the spokesperson of Talabani said that he would be transferred to Germany where he would start his medical treatment. He spent over 18 months there before returning back to Kurdistan in 2014. During his treatment, Talabani had resigned from his presidency post as he wasn't in the condition to carry on his duties. 3rd of October 2017, Jalal Talabani passed away, 83 years old. Seven days of mourning was announced in Kurdistan and over 500,000 people attended his funeral in Sleimani. After the death of Jalal Talabani, his sons Bafel and Quba Talabani was appointed leaders of the PUK. They, alongside with their mother Hero Talabani, were closely thereafter accused for the PUK withdrawal of Peshmerga forces in the Iraqi offensive towards Kirkuk in 2017 after the referendum crisis. They themselves called the whole thing a plot to throw accusation towards other parts. For more regarding this crisis, don't forget to check out our detailed documentary about the 2017 Kurdistan referendum. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.